Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to design this sports banner in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file and get ready. In case if you want that completely designed .psg file means hit the like button soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the project file, open the poster PSD inside Photoshop. This one is a desert ready file. I have given you the color palette, the colors we are going to use in this design. If you want, you can create your own canvas. Fine. First let's create a solid color background. For that go to background group, create a layer, go to color picker, sample and select this dark wild color. Now fill the color. I used keyboard shortcut alt backspace. Next we are going to drop in our model image. Select the image group. Now go to the project file, open image one inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. This image is neatly cropped. Now we enable free transform tool and resize it a little bit. I'll place it at the center here. Fine. Next we are going to drop in our second image. Select the background group. Now go to the project file. Open image to inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the image inside background group. Now enable free transform tool, control T and resize it. Fine, I'll solve with this one. Next, move the image and bring it down below the solid color background. Now I'll change the background opacity down to 80%. Next, we're going to create a rectangle shape. For that, go to the design group, create layer. Go to color picker, sample and select this yellow color. Now pick the shapes tool, rectangle tool. Make sure fill is enabled, stroke is disabled. Now create a rectangle shape like so. If you want, you can enable free transform tool control T and resize it. Fine, once you're done, next we're going to add our crown and star images. For that select the star group. Now go to the project file. Open the crown.png image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the image inside our star group. Now enable free transform tool control T and resize it. I'll place it at the center here. Fine. Next we are going to drop in our star image. Go to the project file. Open star image. This one is .png file. Open the image, now drag and drop it inside our canvas. Now we enable free transform tool, control T and resize it. I'll place it here. Adjust the spacings. Now I'm going to create a duplicate copy using keyboard shortcut control J. Move it to right side. Now I'll create another one. Move it to right side. Now adjust the spacings. Now hold shift key in your keyboard. And select all the three layers. Now create a duplicate copy using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. Move it to left side. Adjust the spacings using keyboard arrow keys. Fine. Once you are done, next we are going to drop in our rock debris stock image at bottom. For that, go to the project file. Open image 3 inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the image inside our image group right below our model image. Now enable free transform tool and resize it. I'll place it on left side here. Next I'll create a duplicate copy control J. Now enable free transform tool, flip it horizontally, give us a little bit rotation. I'll place it on right side here. Fine. Next. Let's add a motion blur effect for this. Select the first debris stock image. Now go to filter, blur, motion blur. Here I'm going to select minus 45. I'm going with distance 10. Click OK. We are going to repeat the very same step. Select the second debris stock image. Now go to filter, blur, motion blur. I'll keep the angle as 35 here. Again, I'm going with the distance 10, click OK. Fine. Next, we're going to drop in our fire stock image. For that, go to the 
project file, open the fire stock image inside our Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the image inside background group. Now I'll change the image layer blending mode to screen so that our dark part will be turned invisible. Now I'll place the stock image here. Next pick the eraser tool. This one I'm going with soft round brush. Now we erase the top part a little bit. Fine, once you're done, create a duplicate copy using keyboard shortcut control J. Flip it horizontally, now move to right side. I'll give a slight rotation. I'll place it here. Fine, next to make it look little more realistic, we're going to add dark smoke effect. For that, go to the project file. Double click and install the smoke brush. Now come back to Photoshop, open, sorry, create new layer right below the fire stock image. Now go to color picker, select black color. Now pick the brush tool. Now select the newly installed smoke brush, this one. Now give few clicks on both sides to create a smoke effect. Fine, once you're done, next we're going to add our text content. For the select the text group, create a layer, go to color picker, select white color. The font I'm using is a free font, I'll give a link in the description. I'm going with sizes 227 pixels and I'll type in my text content. I'll create a duplicate copy, control J. I'll edit the text. Once you're done, our poster is almost ready. I'll disable the color palette. Now we are going to drop in an image. For that, go to the project file, open image 5 inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside of a canvas. I'll place it on the right side top. Here. Fine, adjust the spacings using keyboard arrow keys. Once you're done, let's add final few effects. For that, go to the effects folder, create a layer, go to color picker, sample and select some kind of dark yellow color this one now change the layer blending mode to color dodge now pick brush tool i'm going with soft round brush this one now increase the size and give a single click so that we will get such kind of cool glow effect if you find it a little bit harsh you can reduce the opacity down to 80 percent once you're done let's merge all our layer into a single layer using keyboard arcade shift ctrl alt e Fine. Now go to filter, camera raw filter. Now play with the settings to make the poster look a little bit vivid and vibrant. I'll increase the vibrance and saturation level a little bit. I'll reduce the black level a little bit down. Now go to preset. I'm going with medium vignette effect. If you want, you can select medium sharpening effect. This one is optional. Once you're done, click OK. There you go, our sports banner is ready. So that's it guys, I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials, subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, take care.